Jesus came to the tomb and asked that the stone that covered the door be taken away. Martha remarked that Lazarus had now been in the tomb for four days and that there would be a stench. Jesus replied, Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? The stone was taken away, and Jesus looked toward heaven and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he called out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! Lazarus walked out of the tomb, bound with the strips of burial cloth, and Jesus said, Unbind him and let him go. After Christ raised Lazarus from the dead, the Jewish leaders wanted to put him to death. In order to escape this persecution, Lazarus fled to the island of Cyprus, where he lived for another 30 years in the city of Kition, the modern city of Larnaca. It has been said that Saint Lazarus never smiled. Everything he saw during his four days in the underworld gave him a solemn outlook on life. Accounts tell that Lazarus broke his serious demeanor only once after his resurrection. And that was when he saw someone stealing an earthen pot. Smiling, he said, A piece of soil steals a piece of soil. During his life, Lazarus had remained a close friend of the mother of Christ, the Theotokos. She even visited him in Cyprus. It was during this trip that a storm blew her ship off course, and she ended up by the Athos Peninsula in Greece, the modern Mount Athos. Saint Lazarus died for the second and last time in Larnaca, and was buried in a marble tomb inscribed with the words, the four-day Lazarus and friend of Christ. Above the tomb, a small church was built in his honor. The current church was built in the year 890 AD by Emperor Leo VI, who brought most of the saints' relics to Constantinople and had another church built there in the saints' honor. St. Lazarus's head can still be venerated in his church in Larnaca. The rest of his relics were lost during the fall of Constantinople to the Ottoman Turks. While Saint Lazarus may have died, his memory was preserved by the people of Larnaca. The presence of his relics and his history filled the people with a sense of pride. Children's nursery rhymes were written in his honor, and the people continue to visit his church on his feast day, singing carols and celebrating his name. Saint Lazarus, though he lived so many years ago, remains forever embedded into the traditions and culture of the people of Larnaca and the rest of Cyprus. Because of places like the Church of Saint Lazarus, the Holy Land doesn't end in Israel. It extends further into the Mediterranean, spreading Christ throughout the world today just as the Apostles did 2,000 years ago. May our Holy Father Lazarus bless us and protect us always. Christ loved you as his friend, as Mary and Martha in Bethany with you were exemplary and showing hospitality. Hence when you fell asleep, he came to raise you up. O Lazarus, having been in the grave four days, a shepherd of Cyprus, he calls you as you intercede incessantly with him.